Hello, welcome back to my channel. Antoinette here from Antoinette Intuitive Tarot and Jewellery. I couldn't wait, so I just had to share this one. Um, many of you know with my journaling, I've been moving it up and down. And I have been working mostly with this standard size traveller's notebook, which has, um, I think I've got six inserts in here at the moment. At one point, I believe I had eight. And I've really enjoyed working with this. So much so that I've discovered I need maybe a little bit more right room for scribbling and doodling. And so what happened was on in one of the Facebook groups, somebody showed this amazing uh, traveller's notebook that they'd had made. And so off I went on to Etsy to look up where they got them from and found this beauty, which has just arrived. It smells amazing. I don't know if you can see, this is where it's from. Elrahia leather and it's um, I didn't realize they do they have a page on Facebook that I got it from the Etsy store so here it is it came in a bubble wrap bag just fished it out of the mailbox and I don't know why but I just felt like I should come share this with you because I was so excited Let's get it out of here it smells fantastic here it is. I hope you love it. Absolutely. How can you not? I mean, just, it's amazing. So I got the extra large, just to point out, I got the extra large, I think, with pockets. It was the most expensive one on their lineup in an A5. Um, so you have your string. Let's just open it this way a second and appreciate what we have. And I went with the gorgeous sunshine and all the little gold flowers that are embossed on there. Um, it just, there was this and there was another one. I think there's one with the moon, <laughs> um, which I could have quite easily gone for as well. But this was the one that I decided ultimately had had me pegged. They've given me an A5 TM to get me going. It's got their symbol on the back as well. It's quite... Um, nice and plain all right so here we are we have one two three four five six seven eight strings this is why it's called an extra large so over time it will fit potentially that kind of many items in there and i have the pockets to put things in there and one here I'm hoping this is going to become a much bigger version of this in all essence because it's going to hold more than that one does. So just for comparison, I threw together a bunch of things to see. I don't think, actually, I'm probably not too far off. That's a lot of stuff, but I think once you've kind of shaped it, that's going to that's actually probably all going to fit. That's crazy. Amazing and crazy. So, there we are. That's my new traveller's notebook that I'm going to be using, hopefully, as my journal and my kind of carry-all because I found that having different things in different places and different books for different things they're not always around or handy when I want them and just to have it all in one beautiful case so I can move it around the house with me. Um, this won't be coming out with me. This will just be going around the house with me. It's far too big to be doing anything else with. Um, just to do my journaling, you know. So, you know, if you're sat in the garden, you're doing your tarot journaling and suddenly you think, oh, I had a dream last night. I need to write that down. Well, then I don't have to come and find my book of everything to write down my dreams. Um, because in here I have all sorts of stuff. I have, you know, things that, um, dreams, words, stuff that comes into my head, um, any synchronicities, numbers, repeating things. I just have lots of stuff like that in there. Uh, if I'm watching a reading on YouTube and something particular in the reading resonates with me, I write it in here as well, just so I can come back and refer to it. You've seen this one before. My handwriting is atrocious. So <laughs> the idea of this is that I will just... You know, every so often, 
do some repeats, do some squiggles, do some writing, and then eventually I'll um, improve because we don't write anymore in this day and age. Everything's in text or speech or shorthand. So those two I want to either put into one big book and use in that um, traveller's notebook or, you know, find a way of incorporating it in. Now, here's what I have been doing. I've been collecting over a couple of months. This one you've seen before. So this is the Coraline notebook, which is so magical. I wondered if I could turn this into a monthly diary, but I don't have enough in here. I think it's only kind of, once you split it up between the sections, which look like this, that's what I'm calling a section where you get a double page spread of images. I think there was nine or 10 sections and the sections varied from nine pages in between to um, 13 or 15 when I was counting. And you get a picture in between occasionally. Doodle on the bottoms of the pages. It's just a really nice notebook. So this one I think is going to become my sort of what Dawn Michelle at Boho Bloom calls her sort of seasonal um, notebook. And in here I will journal things throughout the year that I notice. So we're coming up to the summer solstice, whether I'm in this one by then or not, um, it'd be nice to be. Um, then I can start with the summer solstice and move forwards from there with the cycles of the seasons and the turnings of the wheels. And I can just note down what sort of herbs are around, what things are around, um, anything that I do and then observe kind of my own natural rhythms and rituals within the kind of wheels of the year and the cycles of the year. And I thought that'd be a really nice thing to keep. I liked the fact that she did that and kept it separate from everything else. And it sort of fits a lot with what I do. And then in here, I can also put, you know, when I'm drawn to meditate, um, how I'm feeling when the sun's shining, all those sorts of things. So that's that one. I bought this one because I wasn't sure at the time what I was going to do. So I have shown this one. It's a, it was an art fan. It was like eight pounds on Amazon. Uh, the Coraline, I think, may have been £12 or £15 on Amazon. And this is a dot grid with numbered pages, um, two ribbons and index pages. And this was potentially, either this was going to become my kind of um, seasonal journal. And then I remembered I had the Coraline sat waiting. I just didn't want to damage it or ruin it, um, which is why I thought maybe this one might be my kind of starter. I have purchased a... Stalogy, Stalogy, A5. So all of these are A5. Everything I've purchased is A5 because I purchased the A5 um, TN. Why a Stalogy? Again, it was something um, on Boho Bloom. It's something that she uses as what she calls her everyday carry. And it's just got a nice, fine grid. The pages are quite thin, which means that they're less bulky. And this is the one that I think will be replacing my tarot journal in the traveller's notebook standard size. I think this will be, so there's nothing in there. It's not set up and I will just go through and move my way through monthly and weekly. And then as I feel the need to do a spread, I can just add it in without feeling kind of compromised or counting out, working out how many months I can get into a book. So this is a half year notebook in the A5. So it's 148 by 210 centimetres. Um, I went with the yellow because I knew this colour was coming. So I bought something nice and summery. You can get like um, the old library kind of book covers for anyone that remembers going to the library. I've had a look online, but they come in like packs of 10. I don't need 10. So for a second, I just thought I would see how it fits in here. Seems okay. Let's have a look at this. Try this out a second. Ooh. 
Oh, it's which one shall I do next? Where did I put? Hmm. Try this one. I am purposely missing out the knots for the second um, because I don't want to have a big knot in the middle of my page but what I might do eventually is get some crimps so that I can crimp those pieces together and not worry about the big knots that would have been a nice kind of finish but with them being there it means that you can adjust your strings so I get why they've done that right so that's two in there that's what this was going to be reading journal and reference journal so let's get the reference journal in there So that's three fairly big books in there. Um, I still have room. We're not overspilling. I could still probably mould, bend and shape that look. So I've got those. I bet I can probably fit the book that I'm reading at the moment in there, which is roughly an A5. Why not? Talking of the wheel of the year, there it is. This book is by Rachel Patterson, Patterson even, Rachel Patterson. Um, and she does a few from Moon Books. So I can fit the book I'm reading, my reading journal, my book for the year, my tarot journal, all quite nicely in there. I do have a little carry around um, notebook ready to start for July. This is not a notebook, this is just a diary. Um, this one starts in July, which I wasn't sure if I was going to attempt to put one of these in here or not. I'm still not sure because this will probably just be the one that goes in and out of my bag and around with me for other things. And obviously you have my phone, which I do tend to put things on now. I've been working more with my phone. You did see another package here. This is taking longer than I thought it was going to do. I grabbed these because I didn't know. They just look really pretty. So I grabbed them on, again, good old Amazon because we've not been able to go out shopping. So these are what looks like homemade pages. Kind of a linen effect to them. They're very feathery. These aren't going to take many pens, that I will say. This is going to be a pencil or a biro only affair to write in these. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I bought them at the time. I think I might have been considering making one about plants and herbs in the garden as I was working along through with my seasonal stuff. I think that's what I was kind of thinking of doing one of them for. And, you know, how I can use them. And then obviously there's a spare one. Um, they were just really pretty. You know what it's like, people. Journaling supplies. I can't say no. Um, and then we've got... The other two A5 books, let's have a look at those. Where did they go? Okay, so I've still got one there. The book of everything, that's probably something I'm going to take in and out a lot to write in. Which is why I'm not looking to secure these onto strings permanently. I could use that one because that's not going to bother me. In this one, because it's just easier to use. That's ridiculous. Look at that. Wow, I'm really happy. Um, you guys might think that's outrageous for size, but I'm I'm really really happy. I can't I can't state that enough. It's just beautiful. That is heavy. I'm not going to lie. That is heavy, but. Um, it's got everything I want in it, so that's easy. Like, I can just, I can see it, it's tidy, everything's away. I don't feel I need to put it in a basket. I can probably, yeah, I can get a little pencil case or something under there as well. Or maybe I should put that inside. I'm sure I can get, like, a little pen tidy that goes inside. Maybe that's something for my Christmas list. But yeah, I'm really happy. What do you guys think? Would you consider carrying something as mammoth as this or using something as big as this? Um, the only other person that I've been researching for this was also Bonnie at Old Soul 
mermaid. And she had been going through much the similar dilemma, but I had already sort of made my mind up and ordered this by the point that I was watching one of her journaling videos. However, she did me the great advantage of ordering lots of different types of journals and comparing them, and many of which she sent back while she was ruminating on how she wanted to work. So I think she was having, it looked like and felt like much the same issue as me. Like, where do you put everything? How do you keep it all together? But this is what I've decided on because you can change things in and out. So um, I like that flow of flexibility of swapping things in and out. I love the fact that, you know, I've got so many of these um, books from Rachel at the moment. I think there's six that they fit in here and I can read them and then I can make notes about them. So I like that idea, actually. And again, I can take it out and put something else in there if I need to. At some point, if I feel I need to get a great big diary in there, it will fit no problem. A couple of other things I have purchased. Here we go. So everyone's been talking about fountain pens. I couldn't decide what fountain pen I want, whether I'm going to be wanting to write with a fountain pen, but I do love the coloured inks. So I have a quill and I have sparkly inks that go with my quill. However, I don't use it very often. So I found that's going to be more of a special, magical thing. But I quite like the idea still of writing with a fountain pen and making what I write feel special and magical. So I found these Zebra disposable fountain pens. So they've got a nice rounded nib on them I don't know if you can see that but it's a rounded nib and it writes really nicely um, and it came in a pack of six so we had a green a blue black pink red purple really impressed with these I don't know what sort of papers they write on so I'm yet to try them in my um, new books for my journal these are the ones that I was using the Triple Plus Fine Liners, pack of four. This is what I've been using in my current um, journal setup. And then just as a treat, I ordered myself some midliners. These are double-ended, so you've got a fine point and a, um, you know, fat liner point, whatever you call them. Um, and these are pastel colours. These are bright pastel colours. They're not um, dull pastel colours. So I'm, I've got these to go in there. So I'm feeling quite excited, if you can't tell. Very excited. And then just to quickly, this one, so I had my folders in here. Um, in here I keep, you know, how I'm laying up my diary or how I'm laying up my next kind of inserts and things. Just to remind me what I'm doing, basically. I have the kind of thing for ideas and business and blogs and stuff. Um, then I have my tarot journal got May on here but I've actually got June in here as well so you've seen this one before I haven't done a full flip through of this one so I'll just show you very briefly it's as basic as it is and then we're into June and we're working here um Dawn Michelle at Boho Tarot is doing a um, make it magical um prompts this month which I've been joining in with, so I've got some space in there to do that. I'm still doing my date book diary, pull of the day. Um, this is some energy that I'm wanting to take on this month, so I have a card in here that I've just put in. This goes into my tarot spread questions, so when I have more questions I want to use, I add them to this, or questions that I pick up. Um, so they're in there. Some Marseille notes at the back, differences between cards. Then I have my plan it perfectly start journal and then I swap that up to become my spiritual journey because um, I don't know it's just something about that wasn't quite working so then I started turning it into you know noticing things like how do I feel with the moons how they affected me like books I want to read um, what I did for Easter and all that kind of good stuff goes into that one and we have some color correspondences at the back I still have my where are we? Like books and audio books that I've read, um, podcasts and YouTube, people that I'm listening to, following intently, things that I've watched, and uh, the still forever growing FOMO decks. I'm just, the arrows are growing too. I'm failing miserably, what could I say? 
and my kind of like psychic development work is at the back there as well practices meditations and stuff in the back and that works really well for me so yeah if you made it this far well done um thanks for listening thanks for watching but again please do give me um your thoughts i mean i know that's a massive step up in change but i yeah i am very very happy one very happy lady if you cannot tell i'm very happy 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 i'm like the sunshine on this for the golden flowers right i will leave you all to go and enjoy the rest of your day thanks so much for listening to me ramble i will do a better setup of this for anyone that's kind of wondering how i'm going to move forwards and ha what it looks like i will i promise um it's just not going to be for another month or two because i'm still working through and i'm not going to waste the pages that are in that diary i'm going to use those before i move over to this one right thank you again and give me some emojis downstairs give me three sunshines three sunflowers something to let me know that you've been by and watched and um please do join in and let me know what you're up to with your journals Take care. Bye-bye.